Congratulations. I just saw you down there. I but appreciate it. Thanks, Ernie. You know what? I talked to you guys, you and Steph, the day that you were picking your teams. Remember when you stonewalled me and wouldn't tell me who you picked? <laughs> but um, you had both said, maybe this will change a little bit the dynamic of the All-Star game. It certainly did tonight. It certainly did that. And um, we, we, I think the, the greatest thing about our sport is that we listen to our fans, our family, and our friends. And when something is not to their liking, we figure out a way to accommodate that. So our fans, our family, and our friends the last couple of years was like the All-Star game, which was going on with y'all. It's not, it's not what we expect it to be. So, you know, Adam Silver being the great commissioner he is, we all sat down, got around the round table, and figured out a way we can make it more competitive. And then it was up to us guys to go out and do that. And we did that tonight, as y'all saw. LeBron, I've been knowing you since you're 18 years old, seeing you play in high school. I know what type of guy you are. You're a very respectful guy. You're the type of guy that says, it's not my city. I'm going to let the guys from L.A. get off first. At what point, when you see nobody was getting off, did you decide to say, you know what, it's my league. Let me go out and get the MVP. <laughs> Listen, um, the game was flowing. Um, you know, I got my jump shot going, and you guys know you guys cover uh, the games every night. Once I get my jump shot going, everything else kind of opens it up. And, um, you know, I got out, got on the break. And I just felt good. And, you know, in the closing minutes, we was down 13 at one point. I think we was down 133 to 120. But we just made a run, and I was like, okay, let's try to make an impact on the game. And I was able to make it. I was able to do that. Uh, first of all, there's nobody from L.A. in the game, fool. No, no, no Westbrook was from L.A. and DeRozan. Like, like a Westbrook. With your dumb hey, ass. LA, you know. With your dumb ass. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so went to Auburn. You know, me and Kenny are getting ready for March Madness. We haven't really watched a lot of NBA games. But I've watched y'all last two. You've but you just watched like, a lot of NBA games. Not really. I'm watching college right now more than NBA. Yeah, right getting now. ready, getting ready. Yes. But I watched y'all last two games since the trade deadline. Yeah. How has your, first of all, your energy levels been incredible. But from a mental standpoint, what has been the difference since the trade deadline? Um, I think we, we brought in four high-spirited guys. And... Um, and there's no knock on the guys that, that that was traded, you know, before the deadline. They were great for us, you know, at times. And But, you know, when you bring in three 25-year-olds yeah. and then you bring in a George Hill uh, who's been in huge games and, and been sitting on the bench in Sacramento, he wanted yeah. – he was, like, ready for an opportunity. Okay. You know, so, you know, you bring in Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nance. You bring in Rodney Hood, three 25-year-olds, athletic, high-spirited, uh, love the big lights, but has never gotten the opportunity to have that. And they're coming to us knowing that they're going to play some big games. The game's going to mean something. And uh, I think it just changed everything. Okay, so when they walk into the locker room, those guys, what's your conversation with them player to player? Well, when they all of them walked into the locker room in Atlanta, mm -hmm. uh, we played in Atlanta before we traveled to Boston. They all walked into the locker room. Obviously, you dap them up, welcome to the team. And I told all four of them, Whatever y'all need to fa help y'all fast track this process, no matter what time of the day is, no matter what's going on, just ask me. I'll sit down and watch film with y'all. I'll go over sets. Uh, I'll do anything y'all need me to do to help fast track y'all because we got less than 30 games, and I know that y'all can make a difference on this team, but let's try to fast track it. Not shortcut the process because you can never do that, but let's fast track this as much as possible. You've got the third best record in the Eastern Conference at the All-Star break. Are you still the favorite to win the Eastern Conference? I mean, the way we're playing right, the last two games was very good. I don't, I don't know if every game is going to be that way because we got four new guys and we're still figuring it out. Um, but I, I take my chances. You get me into the playoffs, one seed, eighth seed, I'll take my chance. I got a chance to go to the finals. And that's just, that's just my confidence. And I feel like the group of guys that we got now, you know, uh, they feel the same way. Speaking of the finals, I do like fast track. And I see you guys do coming out the East. If you do make the finals, who do you want that matchup to be and why? Listen, man, the way our season has <laughs> went, Shaq, <laughs> if we get back to the finals, I don't care who we go against, man. And, and, and I think we can do it, but the way our season has gone so far, man, I don't care. It could be any, any of the top eight, eight, eight seeds. I'll take Golden State. I'll take, uh, you know, uh, Houston. Take San Antonio, Minnesota, and the rest goes on. So it's whatever. Okay, so we noticed something about you and Ernie have something in common. As y'all oh. start losing a little up top, y'all start growing these beards out. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, yeah, what the hell is that about? Is that a conscious, I'm glad you find this amusing. Is that a conscious effort? <laughs> What's going on? 
Why are they, why are they going at us? <laughs> it'll, 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 wherever it'll, it'll grow. Wherever it'll wherever grow. It'll, see, we got to take, we got to take y'all away from here. <laughs> focus on That's now. exactly. Well, wait till you get one of these bad boys <laughs> up here. Uh, that really hurts. I, I will say this, you know, hair or no hair, beard or no beard. The, the one thing that you kind of in, implemented in terms of in Cleveland is an atmosphere of inclusion. Yeah. Who is the guy that you're going to lean on the most out of these new guys? The Ky new Kyrie, yeah, yeah. the new Isaiah Thomas. Yeah. Who's that guy that's going to take that role? No, nah, we, we, we're not trying to replace Kyrie and place Isaiah. We got, uh, we got four guys that can do multiple things. I mean, obviously, we know the, the hell of a season, um, you know, IT had last year, you know, and, you know, it was, he had a setback with the, with, with the hip. We all saw that, you know, but he's getting his way back to himself. And we know how special Kyrie is and what he was able to do with us the first three years. But the four guys that we got going to do a little bit of everything, you know, pass, rebound, score, defend, bring that energy, dive on the floor. So we don't want them to replace Kyrie and replace IT. We want them to be themselves. You know, we love to have fun. We admire you and respect it. we got to ask you one serious question. Absolutely. With all the stuff going on with uh, Laura Ingram and you responding, yeah, yeah, is there anything you want to say? I mean, first of all, I will not uh, shut up and dribble. Uh -huh. uh, I owe it to my peers. I owe it to my fans. I owe it to the youth. And I owe it to y'all and everybody that has laid the path for me to get to this point. Mm -hmm. I was down courtside. Uh, we had a timeout, and all our guys walked to the bench, and I glanced over, and I seen uh, Dr. J, I seen Kareem, I seen Bill Russell, and I seen Jerry West. And um, I just thanked them. I thanked them. And, and the big O is not here, um, and I thank him too. But, you know, we all know what Kareem and, and Russell and all those guys went through in a time where whatever they said was, was like, no, you're not allowed to say that. Shut up and dribble. Yeah. And – I, I can't sit here and, and allow that to happen because of what they went through. And, you know, it would have been the same as telling Jackie Robinson to shut up and to slide in the home base. Yeah. Or Jesse Owens to shut up and, and, and just go triple jump. Um, I, I can't do that because there's so many people that's looking up to me and there's so many that's going to come after me. So, you know, I got to continue to I got to continue to uh, the path. Keep doing your thing, man. Thanks, doing thanks Charles. Appreciate well done tonight, no, LeBron. Third, third, mama said hello. Oh, always, always. Third time, always. the uh, All-Star Game MVP.